So it just so happens that we're on the coast, okay, uh, in, in the wash. And I guess the scenario we could use is a tsunami. Sure. Okay, so what we'll imagine is that the tsunamis hit, okay, all of this area was covered under, you know, lots of water. Uh, it's now rescinded, but we need to provide a relief effort and we need to do some investigation to see what damage has been done. Sure. Okay, so looking around, as it happens, there's actually a flood defense over there. So what we'll do is we'll call that flood defense uh, point A. Okay, you will take the man pack equipment in the backpack, head over to point A, yep. and just carry out a recce. Okay, and then what I'll do to kind of bring the service to life is I'll use the vehicular kit, put it onto the car, and I'll drive back to the HQ. Okay, so the HQ being the place that we stopped uh, off on, on the way here. Okay, and from memory that was four or five miles away. So well beyond the range of the VHF radios that we're using. So what we'll be able to do is demonstrate perfectly the fact that we're getting that beyond line of sight communication. Okay. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's do it. Okay, so George has headed off to, um, to do his investigation. I'm now gonna put the vehicular kit together, get that in the car, and head off to the HQ location. Okay, so that's just the antenna connected. Um, obviously at the antenna end and at the applique. Next thing I'll do is connect the radio. So that's the radio end and now to the applique as well. Okay, and the last component will be power. So we've got the universal power supply unit because I'm going to be using the vehicle, I'll use the cigarette lighter adapter. Okay, no requirement for a battery this time uh, because we'll be using the vehicle's power supply. And then lastly, the power for the applique itself. So all that remains is to gather up all of the various elements and take these down to the vehicle. Hello George, this is Baz. Uh, just for information, I'm about five minutes away from the HQ location, over. Okay, Baz, I'm in location, over. Hello, George, this is Baz. I've arrived at the HQ location. How's it looking so far, over? So obviously everything's great out here and a million dollar view to boot. I can imagine. I'm gonna head back to your location now. I'll be about 10 to 15 minutes to get back to you, over. So how was that, George? Pretty cool. Yeah? Voice yeah. quality good? Really good. Yeah. How about your end? Yeah, yeah, really, really good. Yeah? Nice one. Yeah, good see you. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> <laughs> what we've demoed today is the, the Manpack variant, as well as the vehicular setup. In addition to that, we also have kit for maritime. Okay, so there's a, a maritime antenna. Doesn't matter about the size of the vessel, can go on anything. Um, and also there's a, uh, an aero option as well. So rotary wing helicopters or, or uh, some of the slower fixed wing platforms as well. What this enables us to do is along with the equipment, the walk-on kit, 
it enables us to utilize it, a vehicle of opportunity, essentially. I could have taken that walk-on kit and I could have made it LTAC uh, capable in a very short space of time and we'd have just done exactly the same thing. All bases covered? Absolutely.